I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my report for you, Scorpio, for the week of July the 24th. Okay, so let's have a look at what's going on. There's a lot going on in your career zone right now, okay? So we do have a, this is your solar 10th house. We do have a new moon on the 23rd. We have another new moon in this area in August uh, around the same time. And that's going to be a solar eclipse. We have a lunar eclipse also coming off this axis of um, Leo and... Um, uh, Leo and Aquarius. <laughs> I'm looking at the symbol, and that's going to be access between your uh, career, getting organized, doing business, and your home and family. So, Mercury is also going to go retrograde in about three weeks' time. So, August is a very sort of dynamic, busy time. Um, but uh, so you want to get as much organized and in place as you can over this next, say, two and a half, three week period, locked down as possible. So Mercury is in your career zone at the start of the week. It is going to move out later in the week into your area of connections and friendships. And so there could be some uh, discussions that you've been thinking about that the time will come. There's a time and place for everything. And and the energy will sort of open up when it's right to have a discussion with someone the energy will open up to do that um, okay so the other thing that's happening in this solar 10th house I mean because we have the Sun and the moon there for it to be a new moon on the 23rd then uh, a little later about midweek the Sun and Mars are going to connect. So the Sun and Mars are in a conjunction now. They're close enough in the degree to be in that conjunction. They're going to like connect a ride on a midweek. This is a hugely powerful connection between these two, especially for you, Scorpio, because Mars is your co-ruler, okay? So there's a lot happening. Mars is also the trigger. It sort of pushes things forward. It gets you motivated and it just helps anything that's been a little bit stagnant to just sort of, you know, push that forward, as I said, and make it happen. Now, right at the start of the week, there is a very nice trine. I like the trines. They're sort of almost like a meant to be where things can fall into place between Uranus and uh, Mercury, the communication planet, okay, so um, Uranus, slow moving planet, been in your solar six house for a while, going to be in there for a while longer, uh, so it can sort of upset your schedule a little bit, okay, because anything that happens with Uranus tends to be, you know, out of blue, it can blindside you a bit, and there's two aspects with Uranus this week, that one which is with Mercury, um, and it's to do with your career, your productivity, getting sort of organized this can be some de developments also working with people uh, with monetary uh, options and opportunities because of Venus sits in this area this solar eighth house so a couple of things here on a business level official business or investments um, look very good okay there's the opportunities that come out you probably won't have a long time to think about it you're gonna have to step on it on a personal note this eighth house is the area of intimacy okay so um, with Venus there then and of course intimacy is not always uh, about sex okay so intimacy is just building a closer commitment or a closer union with someone either they open up for, to let you in or you open up to to let them in and with with mercury moving to your area of friendship then this does give you the or create the opportunity for you to have a uh, deep and meaningful as i said earlier with a friend but can also be um, with Venus in this position of your chart can also be uh, with a, a love mate um, now there is an opposition between Venus and Saturn as well. So uh, Saturn is in your solar second house. It can bring up like past hurts or past situations that you either have to deal with, talk about, um, or, you know, just let go, okay? 
So keep that in mind. So it's quite an eventful week, let's say. And the card that I've selected for you this week is from the Doreen Virtue Ascended Masters pack. Before I share that with you, I want to let you know that I have extended my reading sale 20% off right through to the end of July. Go along to jenniferangel.com and look at that while you're there. Um, have a look at my cosmic shop okay so it's a new addition to the site I'm working on a building that up to be the go-to place for anything cosmic and of course um, if you haven't already then please um, subscribe to my newsletter okay so this ascended master is King Solomon you and uh, you're gonna love this it's the prior it's priorities but look at that <laughs> look at the vision of it so okay get your priorities down because if nothing else you're gonna be really busy this week okay so you're not going to be able to cater to everyone for everything not that you would okay but um, it, it, I love the vision of this. It's like, you know, I'm here, there's a star, and, uh, you know, that star sort of right above your head there radiating there really does indicate that uh, there's, uh, you are stepping into and allowing uh, the light to come through and to raise your vibration. I love the color of the purple too because that's, uh, you know, um, crown or third eye chakra color so yeah so it's a very intuitive card let's say all right so love and luck to you thanks so much for watching i'll see you next week